Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice has hit theaters. Is it worth checking out? Let's dive in. After an unexpected family tragedy, three generations of Dietz family return home to Winter River. Still hunted by Beetlejuice, Lydia's life is turned upside down when her rebellious teenage daughter, Astrid, discovers the mysterious model of the town in the attic and the portal to the afterlife is accidentally opened. With trouble brewing in both realms, it's only a matter of time until someone says Beetlejuice's name three times and the mischievous demon returns to unleash his very own brand of mayhem. Here's what I liked about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. The film has that cheeky comedy that is the, you know, cheap laughs for the sake of laughing. It works at times, and then other times it doesn't. At its peak, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice works when Michael Keaton and Catherine O'Hare are on the screen. These two know how to make you laugh and have some hilarious one-liners sprinkled throughout. Keaton is perfect as the juice. We know that. Man, I just wish we had more of them in this movie. The addition of Jenna Ortega actually works when she's working alongside her film mom, Wynota Ryder. The chemistry between Ryder and Ortega is out of this world. They play the perfect mother-daughter combo that I wish they would have explored this relationship a lot more than they did. Ortega fits perfectly in this little world that Burton has built, and it was a great casting choice. Another great addition to the cast was William Defoe. I won't say much about his character because I want you to explore it for the big screen for yourself, but this man had me laughing every time he was on the screen and he was my personal MVP for the movie. The script is just bad. There's so many things that are unnecessary throughout this entire film that try to weave together storylines that just don't make any sense. And in the third act, when you're trying to bring all those pieces together, it gets so rushed they lose sight of the stories they spent the entire film actually building. I wanted more from Lydia and Astrid. These two had great chemistry, but their relationship was so underdeveloped, much beyond knowing that Astrid's hatred for her mom is due to her father's passing and career choices. It's a massive missed opportunity to soak up the screen doing anything besides what they were given. Honestly, there's going to be plenty of fan service that if you're a fan of Burton, Keaton, Ryder, and Beetlejuice, you will enjoy it. But personally, it felt like a massive missed opportunity to build something special that could have been on par with the original. If you end up checking it out on the big screen, let me know how you feel about it in the comments below.